Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Guys, this is your quick tip of the week. So on my electric lawnmower troubleshooting video, I've been getting some questions about something that I didn't cover because that wasn't my problem on uh, on my job. Anyways, if you have a mower that either flips the breaker the moment you plug it in and flick the on switch for the mower, or it just doesn't start at all, this may also be your problem. Guys, if you want to go into a detailed breakdown of this mower, check out the card for my uh, electric lawnmower troubleshooting video. All right, so really quickly, the parts that we see. This is our wire that's coming for, from our lever. So we have 120 volts of alternating current. This is the rectifier. The rectifier transform the alternating current into direct current. So the motor here is direct current. So what happens is our power comes into our rectifier and then we have positive and negative go to our motor and that's what runs the motor. So here's one simple test that you can test to make sure that the wires, the motor and the brushes are all working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a continuity test and I'm going to test to make sure there's no breaks in any wire from here through the motor to the other side to here. If there's continuity, which means there's no breaks in the wire, that means this whole thing, the motor, all works. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, so gently pull off one of the leads. It doesn't matter which one. If you need to, you can always use needle nose pliers to make it a little bit easier. All right, so this is our multimeter. This right here is the continuity setting. So we go to our continuity setting. Guys, once again, this is to make sure that there are no breaks in the wire. So we have our probes. Right now they're separated, there's no continuity. Touch them together, we have continuity. Uh, this multimeter makes a sound, but always test your probes to make sure that they're working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test from this black one here and then put the other probe on the red. So because one lead has been disconnected, what we're going to do is we're going to test going through the motor. Okay, so the motor works. There's continuity, there's no issue with the wires, with the brushes, or anything else. So we've eliminated this all right off the bat. Okay, so now we'll look at our bridge rectifier. So we have our 120 volts alternating current. We have our positive terminal, we have our negative terminal. So DC is direct current. On the very side of the rectifier it says positive here which means this is the negative over here so to test this now the lever the on off lever is currently in the off position so we're going to see if we have continuity across the rectifier nothing 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 so with the lever not depressed, we have no continuity. We're going to do the same thing again, but this time the lever will be depressed. Okay, so now I'm going to depress the lever, the on off, and we're gonna see if anything changes with the rectifier. And guys, here's the cord to demonstrate that the lawnmower is not plugged in. Make sure that the mower doesn't have power going to it. All right, with the lever depressed, we're gonna do the same thing again. So from orange to black, nothing. From the other black, nothing. And then the red, nothing. Okay, we'll go from the black to orange, nothing. To red, nothing. The block, nothing. So whether the lever is pulled back or not, it doesn't change anything with the bridge rectifier. So if you have continuity somewhere between these leads, that means your rectifier has probably shorted out. And if it's shorted out, that would be why more than likely your circuit breaker is flipping instantly. 
Guys, this is a simple way to test your rectifier if your motor won't start or if you're instantly tripping the circuit breaker when you turn your mower on. Guys, that is your quick tip of the week.